These are some of the saddest Lanky Box videos you will ever see. We play Roblox games made by Lanky Box haters, reveal the sad origin story of Five Nights at Freddy's characters, and we even get to see a leaked Lanky Box animation that will leave you crying. Stick around until the end for one of the most crazy videos we have ever seen in Lanky Box history. Let's go. Today we're seeing some Lanky Box hater games. All right, here we are in the Lanky Box milk obby. Wait, this is not a hater game. This is a cool obby. Whoa! Yes, we will show you guys a hater game after this. But this is a really cool obby to someone. Yo, it's Cape the Milk! Wow! Hey, guys, we got to play this game before we play the hater game. This is not a hater game. This game's lit because I got to prepare emotionally right. to be hated on. You because if I mean? we start crying, that's not going to be good. I won't cry. I'm going to have that protective male <laughs> barrier. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. Yo, they got all of our songs playing background. They got Piggy in here. Wow. Wow, this is awesome. Yeah, guys, make sure to watch our compilation we released of all of our songs. It has, like, the Talking Angela song, the Milk song, all our new stuff. Bro, a lot of our songs are on Spotify, too. Yo, this obby's kind of lit. Okay, okay. All right, Justin, are you in a good mood now? I'm in a really good mood, dude. Hey, we got Foxy, we got Boxy, we got all of our friends, we got Milk! <laughs> and there's just friends in here, there's nice people in here, and there's Milk. So well, then, we gotta be really strong, because we're about to go inside of the Lanky Box hater game. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. And here it is! <laughs> Lanky Box in O. And someone turned us into evil looking versions of us. I'm gonna have nightmares, bro. Oh. Why would someone do this? <laughs> Guys, it's all good. Do not send hate to anyone. This is Guys, hilarious. no, we don't care what you do. <laughs> no, this is crazy. All right, let's go. <laughs> What is this? Now, hey, guys, we did a Lanky Box, I think, Hater Games video, like, several months ago, guys. Hey, we said it before. We got love for everybody. Hey, not everyone has to like our content, obviously. We know that. So, it's all good, guys. Hey, yeah. this is really funny, though, bro. Oh! Oh no! What has happened to me? You guys turned into a plate of lasagna. Oh, it's just the lasagna <laughs> with a side of oof. Wait, they actually know my my deepest fear because I like eating so much. What if I had to eat myself? Oh, dude, that would be scary. And you lost your neck. <laughs> I took it all. <laughs> oh, dude, that's actually so sad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, this game is crazy, dude. Wait, he's got Foxy. Just okay, Foxy's looking sick though, as always. Foxy, okay. no matter what, is cute. Okay, they got a key over here. What's this key? What do you do with this key? I just want to get, get the key, bro. I don't know. Wait, is this the whole game? You <laughs> can drive around in the car. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna get in the lanky mobile. Ouchie! And they made the the sky like red. Why am I oofed, bro? No. <laughs> run over yourself. No. Wait, what happened to you over here? <laughs> Adam, they took away your neck. No. How dare you. Give it back. Adam, neck is one of the only reasons his mom loves us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to drive off the edge and see what happens. <laughs> oh, you just get oofed? Yeah, you just respawn. Bro, this is crazy. This is one of my worst nightmares, bro. Oh, no. Wait, this is crazy, guys. Hey, like always, guys, we got love for everybody. It is what it is. Hey, not everyone has to like everybody's content and stuff. And our content's pretty garbage, not gonna lie. Hey, we are watching a video about a sister who's ashamed of her disabled brother, and she immediately regrets it. She's ashamed of her disabled brother, bro. What? That is messed up. Oh, that's crazy, bro. Let's jump into it. I'm about to... <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to jump right in. Oh, wow. It's her birthday. She got a cupcake. Oh, I'm hungry. Wow. I can get you a cupcake after oh, this video's over. That would rock. <laughs> hey, let's go. Happy birthday to you. you. <laughs> nice. Kelsey. Do you know him? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I just want to back this up. Hold on. I'm totally distracted by this poster. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have the same what? one in my room. Yeah, instead of the Lanky Box posters, which you guys can get on LankyBoxShop.com, Adam has one just of carrots and beets on his wall. Yeah, it's just a bowl of salad. Yeah. I look at it. <laughs> Do you know him? Why does he walk so weird? I heard he just transferred here. Ugh, he's walking towards us. Hey, is it okay if I sit with you? Actually, we were just leaving. 
Huh? Yo, wait, that's her brother, bruh? What the heck? Is she gonna leave the cupcake? No, no. <laughs> Look, if you leave it, I'm eating it. <laughs> Finders keepers. <laughs> she just swagged on her own brother. I might have to try that strategy on you. Oh, I'm sorry, Justin. I I was just leaving. Well, leave then. Leave. Give me Boxy. Boxy doesn't want to leave. And I'm not gonna no, give hey. you any cupcakes. You said you were leaving. Go. Leave. Leave. Goodbye. Wow! What a nice day. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Today I will be able to spell. Hey, no! Can I come back? No, you said you wanted to leave. I changed my mind. You're my best friend. I'm sorry. I said that I was your best friend, Adam. You're my other best friend. I said you can't have two best friends. <laughs> Please take the cupcake. <gasps> Hold on. Where are you going? Can I come too? No. Just stay away from me, all right? You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Bruh. All right, let's pick teams. I'll be the first captain, and Kelsey, since you're the birthday girl, you can be the second captain. Oh, man. You already know if we were playing kickball, dodgeball, I'm getting picked first. <laughs> you literally curl up. You look like the dodgeball. Yeah. <laughs> I got, that, I, got, I got that nice form. I'll be number one kickball player in the United States, guys. You want to prove it? Yeah. I'm going to take this squishy donut. You get one chance to kick this. You ready? Yeah. Stop it. I wasn't ready. Do it again. Three, two, one. We'll try again. Here we go. That was impressive. I'll start Thanks. Megan. All right. They're picking okay. teams. I'll pick. Wait up. I want to play too. Oh, nice. cool. Is she going to pick her brother? Uh, Tanya? Pick your brother, though. Really, Adam? I mean... Because when we were in school, you didn't pick me for your team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's because you would always just pick up the ball and run with it. I would do that funny thing where I take the ball and I go like this. And I would run around. And say I'm super thick. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Boxy says, oh, it's nice and warm in there. Bryce, Eric, I'll pick Stephanie. Yes. Bleh. Sorry, loser. You didn't get picked. Oh. What the heck, bruh? Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. On one hand, I'm like, look, if she doesn't want to hang out with her brother, that's not cool, but I could understand it. Sometimes siblings don't get along, you know what I mean? Right. Like, you got a sister, right? Yeah. Like, if you were at school with your sister and you're trying to hang out with her and her friends, she would not hang out with you. That's true. I like, mean, my sister was older, and if I went up to my sister and was like, hey, can I play with you guys? She would have probably ignored me as well. That's literally what's happening. But that's very different than calling him a loser. Like, what? Yo, where'd this even come from, bro? She said it? It was the, the sister's friend. I hope his sister, like, stands up for him. Let's he, see. No, he's not gonna. Now scram. Kelsey, please. I, I want to play too. You heard what she said. Get lost. Bruh. Get lost? Nah. You need to find nah. some politeness. <laughs> you need to find some politeness. Yeah. Because she said, get You're right. lost. I'll be at the dinner table say, hey, please pass the potatoes. Your mom says, Justin, <laughs> you better find some politeness. <laughs> She needs to learn how to be polite. She does. She really do be not polite, though. Facts. Straight facts! No prater! <laughs> so, we'll wear pink tomorrow? Wait, wear pink? Dude, yeah, it's Wednesday. Wait, is this a Mean Girls reference, bruh? Oh, we always wear pink on Wednesday. That's a movie, guys. Wait, so they're actually Mean Girls, though. They are to her brother. It's Wednesday. Oh. Kelsey! I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, wait, so they don't know that that's her brother. Oh. They, they'd be confused, though. They, oh. really, they really do be confused. They just think they're like acquaintances. Yeah, yeah. Carpooling. You ever carpool to school? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Wait inside the car. Look, we picked up your cake for your birthday. We even got it. Oh, oh. oh no! Don't 
cry. Do not cry, Justin. I know this is tough for you. Not every cake in the world you can eat. Some of them have to end up on the ground. No, I would eat that off the ground. I know you would. But that is really a, that is really sad. That's a tragedy. Can you imagine the tantrum you would throw if my mom was walking in your big birthday cake on your birthday and I tripped and bumped into her and then she dropped the cake on the ground? I don't have to imagine it. <laughs> it happened last year. And you did it on purpose. I might have pushed her, yeah. yeah you pushed your own mom. Uh, this man ruined my birthday cake and pushed his own mom. <laughs> Christ, that's not polite. <laughs> my cake. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I just lost my balance. This is all your fault. If you didn't have that stupid lip, none of this would have happened. Hey, Kelsey, it's okay, all right? It was just an accident. He didn't mean to. I don't care. Why did you have to transfer him to my school, huh? I don't want anyone to know he's my brother. It's embarrassing. I wish I had a normal sibling. Bruh. First of all, this girl is a really good actor. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> every, every Dark Man video she's in, she crushes it, bro. Someone get her an Oscar. She's really like, good. Obviously, she's just acting, but if this were real, that's not cool. She should not be ashamed of her brother. Definitely not. I wish I had a normal sibling. Kelsey, I can't believe that you would say something like that to him. You need to apologize right now. Well, it's true. I mean, why does he have that weird limp anyway? Dad? What's wrong? Kelsey, <clears throat> your brother didn't want us to tell you this. Bruh. What does he not want us to tell? She's about to learn the secrets. I bet what it was, was Kelsey was in danger and her brother actually saved her, but they just never told her. I'm getting tingles. Bruh. I'm getting Pringles. <laughs> you got your Pringles? I got nothing. You got nothing? I got no nothing. <laughs> buy the Pringles anymore. Cause these are healthier. Who snitched also, on me and said I was eating too many Pringles? Who was the one that got his hand stuck in a Pringles jar for three hours last weekend? Cause he was trying to become the Pringles man. <laughs> the Prince of Pringles. Yeah. My mom had to pull you on one side and I had to hold on to the can and we had to yank you away from the can. Maybe I got my hand stuck in a can of Pringles, but at least I didn't get my head stuck <laughs> in a jar of goo. <laughs> See, Adam, they look like Pringles. Huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna feed you! Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. It tastes like a Pringle if they wipe all the seasoning off and then turn it into a cracker. So in other words, it just kinda tastes like a brand this, cracker. This all your mom got at the store? Yeah. Well, she got me some salad if you want that. <laughs> what are we talking about? I forgot. We're gonna see what happened that caused him to have a limp. It's the backstory, bruh. Your brother didn't want us to tell you this, but I think it's time you know the truth. You see, when the two of you were little, you played together outside all the time. Both of you were inseparable. And then one day, Something happened that would change all of our lives forever. You ran out into the street and you didn't see a car that was coming. It almost hit you, but your brother saved you. He pushed you out of the way, getting hit by the car himself, almost sacrificing his own life to try and save yours. When we got to the hospital, the doctor came in and told us the bad news, that he would never be able to walk normally again. I think that said it best. <laughs> That's the biggest <laughs> moment of at least the past week. <laughs> Imagine being mean to your own brother when he saved your life. You kind of saved my life. <laughs> I did? By becoming my best friend. <laughs> For the rest of his life. And since that day, your brother has always walked with a limp. But he never let that stop him from loving you. So you see, your brother limps. 
because he saved you. You were just too young to remember. Oh my god, I had no idea. He didn't want us to tell you because he thought it would make you feel bad. He loves you so much. Ugh, there's that weirdo again. Grant, over here! Why don't you sit with us? Kelsey, what are you doing? Oh, and they're all wearing pink now. Bruh. Wow, they were talking about doing that. They really think they're in the movie Mean Girls, bruh. Actually, he's my brother. The best brother in the world for that matter. Bruh. And I'd really appreciate if you don't call him names. What? <laughs> you can't be serious. You want him to sit with us? You know what? Never mind. We'll just find our own table. Let's go. Wow. Let's go. No more pink. Let's go. <laughs> hey, those girls, hey, they fake friends, bruh. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let me help you with that. Oh, thanks. Wow. Also, do you want to play dodgeball later? You can be on my team. I love that. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, this next video is the origin of Moondrop, okay? Hello, new friend. Welcome to daycare. You're sure up late. I only have one rule. Keep the lights on. Okay, guys, now we play Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. This is the crazy first boss we meet. And yeah, when the lights are on, he's the sun boss. But when the lights go out, he's the moon boss. And he is very scary. Yeah, but by the way, guys, me and Boxy found a super secret Friday Night Funkin' video I really want to show you at the end. Okay? On. Attention, customers. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed. I warned you. No! Oh no, there's Moondrop. Uh -oh. You didn't listen. I used to be a fleshy brat like you. I'll tell you the story while you go to sleep. Wow. wow! He said, I used to be a human like you, is what he said, basically. So we're gonna learn the origin story of Moondrop. How did he become this sun, moon, evil person? I'm actually curious. Let's go. I'd like to say my problems began in childhood, but calling it a childhood would be too generous. Welcome, one and all, to Sunny's first unsanctioned sleepover! <laughs> Oh man, they're having a sleepover. Wow, and they have some uh, Freddy Fazbear stuff. So you think one of these is Sun Moon Drop? Which one, bro? I think it's the guy on the left. Okay, okay. Welcome one and all to Sunny's first unsanctioned sleepover. <laughs> We're so excited to have you here. Uh, Sunny, when you said your mom wasn't home, we expected something a little crazier crazy how like running indoors crazy Pfft, no like a pizza party duh oh so his friends are thinking the sleepover is a little bit lame ah sometimes when my mom goes out to the store and me and justin have a little like little late night party it gets pretty lit yeah we heat up like five hot pockets and just eat them all i eat them all adam watches <laughs> that's true last yeah. week i ate about 40 pizza rolls don't do that at home. I'm a trade professional. Wow. Yep. And where's the fizzy fez? Our mom doesn't let us eat pizza or drink sugary drinks, but we could have a puppet party. Yeah, sure. Cause sock puppets are so cool. We are cool. Oh no, you guys need to go, but we just got here. Knock, knock. I mean it, no, it's our mom. Oh, is she strict? You need to leave! What's going on, bro? What's the problem with his mommy? I think his mom is gonna be like a moon mom. What's a moon mommy? <laughs> like, I don't know, like, she turns really evil when the lights go She's out. She's a moony mommy? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Too late. Sunny, what's going on in here? 
Uh, nothing, nothing, I promise. Time to go home, boys. It's almost 10 o'clock. Okay, Sonny's mom. You can use the downstairs phone to call your parents, okay? I got some ice cream in the fridge for you. Feel free to have a scoop on your way out. Really? Thanks! Sonny, your mom is awesome! Yeah, wait, Sonny's mom seems awesome. And wait a minute, so now we know. So, Sonny, that must be the Sun Moon Boss because his name is Sonny. Mm -hmm. Get it? Right, Sonny. That was always the act. Around other kids, she was sweet and caring. But around me... Mom, are you mad? Please don't! <laughs> You and my friends over without my consent! I didn't! I'm sorry! And this room is filthy! Clean up! Clean up! I'm trying! I'm trying! Bro. Wow, so that's one mean mom! That's heavy, bro. Yes! She a mean mom! <laughs> a mean moony mommy! A mean <laughs> moody moony mommy! <laughs> that's funny to you? <laughs> <laughs> like baby siren head in here, the way you be laughing. <laughs> She's a moody, moony bum. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. It's goodness. not funny, bro. Alright, alright. It's all not right. funny, bro. <laughs> you clearly don't deserve these toys. Straight to the trash they go. <laughs> Get them back! You know what comes next. Oh, please, Mom, please! I don't want to I'll do anything! I promise, please! You're a bad child, and bad children must be punished. <gasps> nah, nah, bro. This is getting too crazy. Nah. That would explain why he doesn't like the dark, is because when he was put in the closet, it's all dark in there. There's probably no light. Wow! Sometimes us if we misbehave. Yeah, that's true. We're locked in the bathroom. Yeah. This is getting real heavy, guys. This is it's getting too crazy, bro. Let me out! Let me out! I'm afraid of the dark! Good. Maybe the dark will teach you some manners. I'll come get you when it's time for school. That, yo, this is messed up, bro. I'll be real. This is too crazy, man. Yeah, this is this is really sad. I get it now why he doesn't like the dark. He, she said, I'm going to get you in time for school. That's the next day. Right. He got to sleep in the dark. That's scary. Bad children must be punished. Bad children must be punished. Bad children must be punished. Wait, and that's what the Sun Moon Boss says when they grab you in the jump scare, bro. Oh, I get it. Foxy said this is real sad, Adam. Yeah, but don't worry, because I got that secret video to show you at the end. That'll cheer you up. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's really awesome. Okay. I stayed in there for hours, terrified. Anytime I misbehaved, this is where I was sent. Usually, I would just cry myself to sleep. But something about this night brought a new part of me out. A stronger, rebellious alter ego. The moon to my sun. Must escape. <laughs> Whoa, he snuck out. Wow. Guys, this is getting crazy, guys. Don't mm. sneak away from home. But this is also a crazy scenario. Right. didn't know where I was going or what I was gonna do next. Only that it had to be better than here. Clean up! Clean up! I was on my own for years. Half of me hoped my mom would search for me, and the other half prayed she wouldn't. I finally had freedom, but I had traded everything else. I had no family, no friends. It became impossible to sleep, not just because I was nervous and hungry. But also, because around every corner and in every shadow, he was lurking. <sighs> Heidi, hide. Hide away. 
This is so crazy, man. That's what Sun Drop always says, or I guess Moon Drop. Dude, it actually kind of makes sense, though. He got, like, two personalities, bro. He, he got an alter ego that comes out in the dark. Right, yeah. Oh. Bad children must be found. Bad children must be punished. All I could do was pray that things would get better. And by daylight, they always did. I didn't know what they'd think of me. I had been on my own for so long, I had forgotten what I looked like. But I wanted to be part of something, and I was too close now to give up. When I got the job, I was shocked. I wasn't used to being wanted by anybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Superstar Daycare! Wow, so we got a job at the Freddy Fazbear Pizza Plex. That makes a lot of sense. This is crazy. Everything a kid could want. Finger paints, a ball pit, and more fizzy fast than you can chug. We're gonna have so much fun! Working the daycare was exhausting, but it was worth it. Each day I helped children do the things I was never allowed to do. I wanted to give each of them a real childhood. <laughs> as long as the light stayed on and no one made a mess, I could go to bed happy. Wow, dude, that's deep, man. This actually get me emotional. He seems to love his job. He's wanted there. He's appreciated. He's making everybody there real happy. Yeah, but I'm just real worried to see what's going to happen when those lights go out. <laughs> but one day... <gasps> Someone broke the rule. Naughty, naughty! This'll take me hours to clean! Clean up, clean up, clean up! I was so focused, I didn't hear when the security guard said... Attention customers, Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed. Please make your way to the nearest exit. I kept right on cleaning, until... No! Don't come out! Don't come out! Naughty boy! Naughty boy! No! Stay away! I don't like you! You can't hide from me. I helped you survive. I'm the only reason we're still here. No! I'm happy now! I don't need you anymore! Bro, wait, so that was ending on a cliffhanger, bro. He argued with himself at night. It's the next day. What's gonna happen, bro? Fun and all! Bro, that's the backstory. So he was arguing with himself and he must have got turned into an animatronic. Right, exactly. And now he's gonna work at Five Nights at Freddy's forever. This is crazy, man. Hey, make sure to keep the lights on. Otherwise, this guy will come out in the dark. And that's the end. I'm sure you have questions. But, oh, you're too tired to speak. That's okay. You don't need to worry about anything anymore. Today we are acting in one of the most sad Roblox movies ever. Okay, guys, this video will be linked down below. Adam says it's sick. I've never seen this before. Have you ever seen this before, Adam? I have not seen this before, but this thing has like 50 billion views or what? something. What? Yeah, it's super popular right now. All right, all right, we're gonna check it out, Adam. All right. Oh, okay, it's a nice house. Oh, Aww, they're playing on the <laughs> slide. What, what were you about to say there? He's on the s swing. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Dude, wait, how is the animation so good? It looks like a real movie, bro. Yeah, guys, buckle up. Get some popcorn. This is a movie. Oh. Okay, nice. Aww. This is like, this is like Adam on a Saturday with his mother. Yeah, we do play on the They go to set. the park, you know what I mean? And just hang out, you know what I mean? Yeah, you like hanging out on the merry-go-round. Yeah, spinning around. I go around and around and around. I get dizzy bad, dizzy bad. I fall over. Okay. <laughs> oh, that must be the mom. Oh. <laughs> Something real bad is gonna happen. <laughs> I could tell. You said it was scary. It's kind of spoopy. He wearing a onesie like me, bruh. Yeah. <gasps> is it Rod from Ice Cream? Nah, bro. Please tell me it's not Rod. Oh, she's watching. 
what? The mama kind of angry bro, there. Bro, she kind of evil. What was that, bro? Is she in on it? Oh, nice. Wow. <gasps> wow. That looks so tasty. Oh. I bet it's like a Froyo. No, it's ice cream, Adam. Oh, yeah. You're probably right. You're only allowed to eat frozen yogurt. <laughs> Why? Because you like it more. You say it has more milk <laughs> in it. I don't know. Oh, he's getting read uh, or some books to sleep. This just like you and your mother every day. Yeah, she reads me some stuff. Yeah, because you can't read it yourself. Right. It's too happy right now. Something bad's gonna happen, bro. Wow. Uh, they hung out. They played at the playground. They got ice cream. It's a perfect day. Fell asleep. Something sus about to happen, bro. Cookies for breakfast. Oh man, I wish I had his life. I don't get those. Oh, what a great life, bro. Yeah, nothing can ruin his life. Uh oh. What? Oh no, I think they gotta go to the hospital. Why? I think she's pregnant. Huh? I think she's gonna be a mommy. What? <laughs> She already is. She got a son. I think that he's going to get a sister. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Ed, for clarifying that. <laughs> His whole life about to change. Yeah, you're right. But that shouldn't make it sad. Why would that be sad, bro? Because he's no longer going to be the only special child. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Oh, this is actually so sad. Wait, yo, you can't, they can't leave him at home by himself, bro. Pennywise about to show up, you know what I mean? Break in, Scary Larry about to break in, bro. Yeah, that would be bad. Nah, you can't do that. Oh, man, a whole day went by. They just <laughs> left him? Nah, <laughs> he can't. drool it. Bruh. Is that his new sister? It is! It is, guys! Oh! <laughs> what are you laughing at? You look like Aiden with the beard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look like that. Dude, he looks happy. This is good. This is good news. He got a sister. That's awesome. Yeah, so far this movie's good, guys. Bruh. I just hope it doesn't get sad. Me too, bro. Oh, he's rocking her to sleep. Oh, he's rocking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so we went ahead like two years, maybe? That was a pretty cool transition, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, they're friends. He's making her laugh. Wow, this is awesome. Wow. <gasps> He's teaching her how to walk, bro. Wow, that's useful. What, walking? Yeah, learning how to walk. I am learning how to ride a bike. He's gonna teach her all these things. True. Wow, he's a really good brother. Dude, he taught her how to walk. Rocky gonna teach her how to rock. <laughs> it's time to rock and roll. Oh, there she goes. Bruh. It's her birthday. She's three, bruh. Wow. Three candles. Nice. Aww. Aww, bruh. He helped her. This be like when we hugged at the end of those shorts. Right. You know what I mean, on YouTube. Yeah. Bruh. Oh, man. She going to her first day of school. <gasps> Wait, is she all right? She's scared of the bus, bro. Oh, She's man. She's scared, bruh. Don't be scared. It's just a bus. Oh, he laughing, bro. <laughs> I remember the first day I ever had kindergarten, I was really afraid of the bus. <laughs> I actually didn't even get on. My mom <laughs> drove me to school that day because I didn't want to get on the bus. That's why I looked at you. I said, I know you lying. Yeah, I was I real scared, guys. Because there's all these big kids on the bus and I was the smallest kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I eventually got brave and rode the bus. Nice. All right, now she's in school. Oh, yeah, some meanies. Well, why are they meanies? They're just older kids. What's the problem? Let's bro? see. They look a little mean. They're though. not going to pick on her, bro. That's crazy. Uh huh. You sure? Oh, hey. that's mean. They just, what? Nah. That's that, not cool. That doesn't make sense. That's not cool at all. Who would do that? Is her brother going to help her? Yo, he about to help out, bro. 
Help her! Bruh, about to take the lunch money, bruh. Two versus one. It's her brother versus two meanies. Bruh. Be at school, you know, so me and he tried to take my lunch money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you picked them up by their foot and shook them until the lunch money fell out. What? Like upside down? They tried to take my lunch money. <laughs> I didn't take theirs. Oh, did they do that to you? They tried to take my lunch money. Ah, uh, but you wouldn't let them. No. Because mm. you're too thick. Yeah. <laughs> took the dog bill and I sat on it. <laughs> I'm not moving. You ain't getting the money. Too thick. Big brain. Wow. Big brain. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. he's dancing. He swagged on him. He's saying that was a piece of cake. Hey, now, hey, if this ever happens, though, you already know you got to report it to the authorities, bro. Yeah. You shouldn't take it into your own hands and use violence ever, bro. Right. Unless it's an extreme situation. I guess that's pretty extreme, though. That was pretty mean of them. I don't know, bro. I feel conflicted, bro. Oh, they're back home from their first day of school. Bro. Everything's still going great. Whoa! Oh, they got max scores on their tests, bro. 5A. Oh, the sister got a great grade. What does that, what's 5A mean? I think it just means like a really high mark. Because he got 4B. Is that not as good? It's not as good as 5A. Oh, she kind of... Mm. Oh, no. Bro, she gave him the same look Adam's mom gave him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! She threw it? Who does that? Yeah, that's not nice what at all. What kind of would do that? Especially because he worked really hard for that. Like, you could tell he was proud of that grade. Yeah, what the heck? That's not cool, bro. Hey, that mom should have hung both of them up on the fridge. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> He's studying. What's he looking at? <laughs> Oh, the dad's playing with her on the swings now. That makes sense. Because that's what they used to do. Yeah. Oh, he's going to try and play with them. Oh, bruh. He says, my turn, my turn. Is the dad going to push him? Oh, the dad got a phone call, bruh. He's too busy. Bruh. Yo, this sad, bro. Nobody wants to pay attention to the brother. Right. He's just less special than he used to be. Bro. And now they're reading the sister to sleep. Bro. That would be like if my mom only got me the best food and she left you just the scraps. Mm. Think of how unfair and not cool that would be. Bro. Luckily, my mom is very nice to both of us. We don't have this going on. Right, and we got different things, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's not a competition. Yeah. I get the best food, and who gets the best meal? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's different. Oh, he's crying, bro. Oh, oh no. Oh, he, he ain't here. Yeah but I still take the lunch. <laughs> I will say this though. I think he feels like, you know, less special. You know what I mean? Right. But honestly, he grew up, like his parents not gonna read to him in a crib. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. You know what I mean? And like earlier, you know, when his dad was busy. He can push himself on the swing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like the dad didn't say, oh, I love the sister more. He just was busy. You That's know true. what I mean? Yeah. The mom, on the other hand, was being a little bit savage. With the report With card. The, that was not cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was and cool, bro. All right, we're back at the lunch scene. Oh, I want that lunch. It's a cool lunchbox. Speaking of which, might have some cool lunch boxes coming pretty soon. I like you, buy Shop talk. I'm not gonna leak. Keep an eye out, guys, for the new back to school merch. Oh, she excited for school? Nah, it's the meanies again, bro. <gasps> Ah, uh, nah. Bruh. Are they gonna be mean to her again? Don't they didn't learn their lesson? Bruh, like, don't even try. Oh, bruh. They stop, her. bruh. Just stop. Wait, is he gonna help her this time? Why would he not help her, bro? Because he's like, I'm less special than my sister, so I might not help her now. Let's see what happens. No way he does that. No. No way he just did that. You a troll, bruh. 
I lost all respect for him right there. He's turning into a meanie himself. He turned his back on his own sister. She didn't do anything wrong. Maybe these meanies also have sisters that people love more than them. What? And that's why they're being so mean to his sister. What? He's gonna turn into a meanie mm. like them. It's a circle of meaning. Is that why you prank me? Because when I came into your life, your mother gave you less attention. Is that it? That's not it. It's because you, you, you do are be very me easy to prank. I'm not. You believe anything I I'm tell not. you. I'm <laughs> not. Are you hungry? I'm not. You're not yes, hungry? Yes, I am. <laughs> you see? I tricked you. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> Take the TikTok. The TikTok jelly fruit. Hate <laughs> it. Can it, ain't him? Can it? Five. Can it? Are they gonna oof his sister? What? Keep going. Wait, what happened? Oh, she's, she's still all right. Happy. Paul, she's still that happy. was a close one. I thought they were gonna oof her. Yeah, what was that, bro? That was an intense scene. She get a cookie, he not gonna get a cookie, bruh. Bruh. Because he's spending all his time being mean and not studying. Bruh. He got an F. He got two F's, bro. Wow, he's not even trying he anymore. He got double F, bro. Wow, let's see what the mom's gonna do. Bro. Oh! He crumpled it up and threw it away. Yo. More oh. times going by. Wow. Oh, look at that. That was real subtle. You see that, bro? The trash can filled up. Yeah, and the cookies went away. Bro. Yo, this animation's crazy. <gasps> Bruh. He's realizing she doesn't even need him anymore. Bruh. She got an iPhone. She got the new iPhone, guys. What's he gonna get, bro? A book. <laughs> what? Oh, because he's getting bad grades. This is Adam. I got an iPad and you got a book. <laughs> yeah, but I can't even get better at grades because I can't read the book. <laughs> He crying? Why? What? Cause he probably wanted a phone. Bruh, but you don't get you don't get a phone if your grades aren't good, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh that's Adam, bruh, after a glass of milk. Face down, yeah. asleep. Yep. He take one sip. <laughs> one sip he out, bruh. Oh man. Here we are, back again, still getting no attention from his parents. Bro. <gasps> they gonna buy her ice cream, not get one for him, bro. bro. Please tell me. Oh, man. Oh, they're out. He's out of ice cream. Hey, but listen, that's not the dad's fault. You know what I mean? Oh. <gasps> oh, he about to take it. No! <laughs> See, that is why you don't do stuff like that. Cause now everyone loses. The boy loses, the girl loses, and Justin mm. loses. Bruh, they could have just splayed it. Now only the ground gets the ice cream. Bruh. The little ants are gonna come eat it off the ground. Yeah, the ants will be happy unless Bruh. they're lactose intolerant. What? <laughs> ants lactose intolerant? <laughs> Bruh, he's gonna get yelled at. The bro oh, she crying, bro. Now he's crying too. Bruh, nah, bruh. He got yelled at by his dad, bro. Oh, man. Oh, they're reading goodnight to the sister again. The dad, oh, the dad gonna go talk to him, bro. I think he's gonna tell him some really deep stuff. He didn't. Oh, man. What's, he running away. He's running away. I know what that is because I've done that. I leave a note that says I'm out. I'm too thick. I'm gone. Did anyone ever come looking for you? Yeah, your mother. Oh, right. He's leaving. Huh? He's running. He said I'm gone, bruh. Where is he going to leave to, though? Bro. This is a crazy story, man. i never seen it. Oh no. Bruh. Adam, you ever do 
that you ever try to run away from home? I did. Bruh. Yeah, you did you? Well, yeah, I just said. Yeah. I made it to KFC. <laughs> And I made my way back home. And did they even notice you were gone? No. <laughs> so you didn't really run away. Yes, I did. <laughs> what about you? What happened? Well, I tried to run away, but I realized I needed a place to sleep. So I tried to pick up my mattress, and I was not strong enough. So then I just realized I can't <laughs> run away. Yeah! Oh, oh, he's hungry. That's like me. He's gonna go to the hot dog. Hot dog. 15 cents. That's a really cheap hot dog. Yeah. Hot dog. Less than a quarter. Good math. Oh, he's only got a penny. Ah, oh, nah. Ah, oh, nah. No hot dogs for you. He only got one penny, bro? You ran away with one penny, bro? That's not gonna last you very long. Oh, man. <gasps> they have hot dogs. He's gonna steal the hot dog. Mm. Nah, he going to jail. <laughs> Yeah. What's funny? Hot dog man. What? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, he's gonna... Oh, someone gave him some money. Did they give it to him or did they drop it on accident? I think they gave it to him. Oh. Wait, he left his backpack. Nah, bro. Nah. Okay, he's gonna get the hot dog. That's good. Oh. Who took it from him? Oh. The meanie. Oh, bro. The meanies that he beat up earlier. Bro, this is bad. Wait, but then can he just beat him up again? Oh. Huh? But he's weaker now because he doesn't have hot dogs. He's probably really hungry and tired. This story too sad. I quit. Mm. We gotta see the end of this. We gotta stay brave. <laughs> For our subscribers, be brave. Do it, Justin. Do it. Cry. Do not cry. Do it. Don't cry. Oh, uh -oh. see, I told you, man. The police show up, bro. There's the sister. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, He's bruh. missing? Nah. Oh, he looks terrible. What? He looking in the trash for food, bruh. Wow, there was a whole burger in there. Bruh. But it started to rain. It's going to make it all soggy. Bruh. Oh, it's like Boxy. Wait, this is like the origin story of Boxy, bro. Are you serious, bro? Oh, no. Nah. He's going to go live in a box? Well, that's what Boxy did. Yeah. That's crazy. They're putting up missing posters all over the place for him. But he's actually under the bridge? Bro, that's crazy. Just go back home. Oh, the man. meanies are still there. Bruh. They'd be tracking his every move. What's he doing? Oh, he found another hot dog. That's a lot of food in that trash can. Bro, he's at his lowest moment, bro. Wow. Hey, serious no. Hey, never do any, really any of the things you saw in this video. Hey, you see something crazy you go out of school, report it. You know what I mean? Violence, not the answer. Hey, you get into a fight with your parents, talk it out. You know what I mean? Communicate. Do not run away from home under any circumstance. You know what I mean? Ever. Yeah, you're right. Bruh. Oh, man, another day has gone by. The sister cries she miss him, bro. He's back. Back. He came home. Let's go. Wow. Let's go, dude. Hey, he's lucky to have made it back, bro. Hey, you run away, that's very dangerous, bro. Here comes the reunion. Bro. I think the parents, they're going to realize that they messed up, bro. You know what I mean? They're going to make sure that they get him an ice cream. Bro, that's what you're thinking about? The ice cream? Yeah, and they're probably going to get him an iPhone. That's what it is? That's why he was so mad. He didn't get an ice cream. That's not iPhone. why, Ed. Because he didn't get the love. And now they're giving him a hug. It's not about the ice cream, my friend. It's about the hug. I gotcha. Oh, wow. wait, he's back to being in love. Wait, is he all right? What? What just happened? Nah. What? 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 What a twist! Wait, what? 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 What is happening? What? Oh! His sister's being nice to him. Dude. It really came full circle. At the start of the movie, the sister needed the older brother. But at the end, the older brother needed the sister. Bro. Wow. Baby Foxy had never eaten a donut in her whole life. 
She always wanted to try a donut, but unfortunately, she never had enough money to buy them. She would do literally anything just to be able to try a donut for the first time. She had an idea. Maybe someone would be nice and buy a donut for her. But nobody was nice to Foxy. Not even a single person bought Foxy a donut. Foxy became so sad. She wanted a donut so badly she even tried making one out of cardboard. But it tasted awful. She went to sleep that night dreaming of donuts. When she woke up, she couldn't believe it. Somebody left her a dollar. She didn't get a chance to thank the people who did it as they had already walked away. She walked into the donut shop with her dollar and finally bought herself some donuts. Amazing! But then she realized that she was still alone and had no one to share them with. Even a delicious donut couldn't fill the emptiness that was in Foxy's heart. But then one day, a delivery of boxes arrived. And one of the boxes started moving. And it was Foxy! Foxy finally had someone to share her donuts with. Today we're going to be telling some crazy stories about how we went to jail. <laughs> now these are going to be stories about when we got in a lot of trouble. Oh, now man. I'm a start. So when I was growing up, when I was like five years old, I loved video games. Uh -huh. However, my parents did not want me playing them. They were like, we would rather you play outside with friends. So they didn't even <laughs> allow me to have video. <laughs> what? Outside with friends? <laughs> so you just didn't do anything, did you? <laughs> no. Everybody knows you ain't got no friends. <laughs> no, that's now. Oh. Back then I had friends. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Basically, my parents were like, we don't want you playing video games. We're not going to buy you anything. But I really wanted to play video games. Okay. So so my first ever video game console was a Game Boy Color. Now I'm in fifth grade yeah. and my parents, I was like, please, 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 can I have some video games? They were like, okay, oh, we're gonna give you a Nintendo GameCube. That's pretty good. Now my mind was literally blown, but they were like, okay, here's a Nintendo GameCube. Here's like Super Smash Brothers, here's some Mario games, but uh -huh. you can only play this one hour a week. Uh, <laughs> That's it. One hour. Literally. I thought you were gonna say one hour a day. No. A week. No. They were like, you have to tell us when you want to play, and we'll like let you for an hour, and then that's it. You cannot play. Dude, it. your parents are so sad. <laughs> I would be like, if you came in and said, Justin, I'm gonna give you this tray of cookies. <laughs> you can have one nibble per year. <laughs> that is that is cruel. So I literally plan out like, okay, I want to play Mario for this like 15 minutes, like maybe like Super Smash Bros. for like 30 minutes. Uh -huh. I would plan out like weeks in advance when I'm going to use that hour. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Now, my parents were very, very strict, obviously, about me playing video games, but they were also very strict about what type of games I could play. Uh -huh. It had to be rated E. Oh. Like, they didn't want any type of violent games <laughs> going into my brain. Yeah, true. And so, I was having a friend over once, and he was like, oh, uh, do you want to play some video games? I was like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, and he was like, oh, let's play Call of Duty. For those of you that don't know, Call of Duty is a definitely a more violent game. Sure. Right? And my parents would not allow me to play yeah, that. Yeah. And so he was like, oh, I want to play Call of Duty. I'm like, oh, I don't own that. Like, my mom won't let me play that game. Oh, yeah. And uh, he was like, oh, uh, okay, I'm just going to go home then. <laughs> like, he literally was like, I only want to play Call of Duty, and if we're not going to play that, I'm just going to leave. Dude, he straight up used you. Yeah. Dang. Dude, I literally felt so sad. I was like, well, I can't play Call of Duty. Like, do you want to play, like, Pokemon or something? And he was like, nah, nope, I'm just going to go home. <laughs> <laughs> After my friend left, I asked my mom, <laughs> I don't know why I even thought this was an a good idea, but I was like, mom, 
can I please get Call of Duty? And she was like, no, obviously not. I'm not gonna let you play these violent games. Wow. So I was like, wait a minute. I bet there are online games that are similar to Call of Duty. So I went to my computer, I searched like free shooting games. <laughs> I clicked on the first one. I created an account, I started to play it. And the game was like super low quality. Oh, a bunch yeah. of like pop-ups yeah, appeared. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure my computer got a virus. <laughs> 10,000 pop-ups appear. I was like, okay, I'm just gonna close out of this. Like, this is a bad idea. Yeah. I don't know, whatever. Like, yeah. okay, I still don't have Call of Duty and now I think my computer has a virus. Yeah. Right. The next day comes, I go to school. My friend's like, hey, did you get Call of Duty? I was like, no, man, like I tried, but I, <laughs> it's not gonna work. The school day ends. My mom comes to pick me up from school. Oh yeah. I'm like, oh, what's up, mom? Uh-huh. Silence. Hot. Now, normally, on my way home from school, me and my mom, Tao, oh, how was your day? Whatever. <laughs> Silence. You gotta catch up with your only friend. Huh? Yeah. 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 So I can tell something's off. I was like, hey, how's your day? Nothing. Just wow. real tense. So the whole way home, I'm like, what's going on? We make it home. She opens the garage door, pulls oh. in the car. I literally cannot make this up. She was sitting there. Yeah. I was like, should we get out of the car? Just sitting there. And she was like, so Adam. Do you feel guilty about anything? <laughs> and I was just sitting there like, huh? And then she was like, I asked you a question. Is there anything that what? you feel guilty about? I was like, no. Uh, uh, uh. And she was like, I got an email today from a violent video game site saying you tried to create an account there to play their game. Oh, man. And she was like, oh, man. Were you playing violent video games? And my mom was like, I can't believe you lied to me. Wow. If you keep up this bad behavior, you could go to jail if you keep doing this. And you did go to jail, didn't you? No. Are you sure? Luckily, I did not go to jail. However, I felt like I was in jail. Like the next two weeks, I was in so much trouble. That was the most trouble I ever got in as a kid. Now you got in trouble with your mom. <laughs> I got in trouble with the law. Yeah, no way. You already know. Back in middle school, me and my good friend James had a ploy and there was this like scary movie coming out in like a week and we were like oh man we will be the coolest kids at school if we got to go see this scary movie and then we could come back to school and tell all the other kids like, oh, dude, we saw this crazy movie. So it was like rated R. Like it they don't was... let people under the age of a certain amount go in? No, of course it's rated R. It oh. was rated like super R. Oh. It was a super scary movie. So you were not going to be allowed to get in? No, there's no way. We were saying, how can we get into this movie and watch it before everybody else? Uh-huh. Because, there, I mean, the age difference was huge. Like there's no way we're allowed to get in. And we look like toddlers. <laughs> Okay, we were sitting at lunch, you know, eating some sandwiches, and we had a scheme. We said, okay, what if we go to the movies together, and we buy a ticket to like a G-rated movie, and then we do the good old switcheroo, <laughs> and we walk into the R-rated movie and watch it. We decide, okay, it's gonna be lit. We're gonna do that this Friday night. James's mom drives us to the theater. You know, we're in the back seat eating more sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, we get dropped off. James's mom says, all right guys, time to leave. Time to go go enjoy your Disney movie. Uh -huh. She thought we are gonna go watch a Disney movie. Uh -huh. We didn't fooled her. Uh -huh. And we say, all right, thank you, appreciate it. We hop out as we're hopping out. She goes, wait a minute. You guys are gonna go see a Disney movie. James's little sister, who who was literally like eight, a little little kid. She was like, I want to see the Disney movie. Oh no! And the no. mom was like, Okay, I'll just take her with you. No. no. Problem. I was like, Oh, no problem, no problem. Let's just take her with us. <laughs> no problem, no problem. So we uh, give us three tickets to the new Disney movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get them. We walk straight into the theater, and then this is the moment of truth. I see the Disney movie that we bought the tickets for on uh -huh. one side. Uh huh. And then I see the super violent R-rated <laughs> horror movie on the other side. I say, Justy, this right here is a defining moment in your life. What you do right now will affect you. Your police record, probably. <laughs> so you know what I did? I walked straight to that. Oh! Right oh! As we were sitting there, the lights get dimmer. I'm like, oh man, we pulled it off, boy. Yeah. Go, oh, boy. <laughs> boy. And then. Some trailers start playing. So now, you know, if you go to a G-rated movie, 
the trailers they play are similar to the movie you're about to watch. Like, yeah. if you watch a Disney movie, they're gonna play you other, like, Disney trailers. We were in an R-rated horror movie, so the trailers that started to play were very scary and violent. Uh -huh. So I'm sitting there, and a little <laughs> bit nervous, because I'm already terrified of the trailers. I look around, out of the corner of my eye, I see that there's one of those movie theater people with, like, the wand, like, yeah. the glowing wand, you know, yeah. like, the flashlight. And they're going through and checking everybody's ticket. So I will... <laughs> As the people are about halfway up the theater and they're getting close to us, well, the movie actually starts. At the very start of the movie, this person jumps out like in a mask and attacks somebody. And then immediately, James's little sister, who has only now caught wind of what has transpired, uh -huh. starts to cry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She starts sobbing in the theater. Okay, so everybody's like, what? How did these little toddlers get in this movie theater? So we <laughs> grab the stats, grab the soda, I'm out. We book it straight out the theater. Uh huh. The attendants are coming after us with their flashlights. <laughs> we run straight into the G-rated movie. The attendants catch up to us. They say, uh, did I see you kids just leave an R-rated movie? I said, no, you did not. I'm just here to watch a G-rated movie. And me and James had to sit there and watch the entire movie. <laughs> so nothing bad happened? Something terrible almost happened, Adam. What? I almost dropped my popcorn. <laughs>